Um, shout out to Kennedy, somebody, somebody, um, commented, um, top three any sport players with the worst backstories. And I'm going to give you one of them today, and I'm going to try to have one for you tomorrow, and the one after that, the day after that. So it's kind of sneaky, but it's there. Alright, so this one, this is a guy by the name of Terrell. I'm going to leave the link of the video in the description, so please go watch that. Show your support. Like that video and comment. Um, not just my video, but their video. If you want to get a video made for something that you like or a player that you think needs to be mentioned, just comment down below say, hey, and then put that on there. And then, yeah, I'll see it. And if I like it, I'll pick it. And then I'll get a video up as soon as I can. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, what's wrong with you? But, no, I'm just joking. So subscribe, comment, um, then comment down below saying, hey, I just subscribed and I will get you a shout out. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, the video begins with a 15-year-old girl having a baby and two weeks after having a baby, um decided to abandon the child and abandon them on a doorstep and that baby's name is Terrell so stay following um, in high school he used football as a kind of relief to get away from the stresses of being inside his own head or family or anything um, it was just football it was two hours a day where he could just be himself and not have to worry about anything. And with a great high school career, he earned himself a scholarship at Azusa Pacific University. Um, on the doorstep of the NFL, he was that good, he was that good, he was great. With an extraordinarily good career in college at Azusa Pacific, um, he was on the doorstep to the NFL but went undrafted. Everyone thought he was going to get drafted, but he didn't, unfortunately. Um, but the NFL came knocking. He went to training camp with the Bengals. Um, he got put on practice squad for the whole season of 2015. Um, in 2016, his life would take him all over the U.S. In 2016, he went to the Browns, was there for seven weeks, three days after he got cut from the Browns. Um, Denver called and, and asked, them, asked him to come over there to be on their practice squad. He was there for a month and a half. Then the next day, the Eagles signed him. One week later, got to play versus the Cowboys. Um... He got to play, and it meant so much to him to be able to play in that game. It was when Darren Sproles went out and Carson Wentz hand the ball off and hand the ball off and hand the ball off, wanted to get him as many touches as possible, and he got his first NFL touchdown. So congratulations. Um, it didn't work out in Philadelphia. You know, stuff changes. Um, but he did earn a spot on the active roster for the Steelers and that is where he is currently and yeah so that is your players or people to video for today his life took a turn for the worse from very beginning and through the support of his mom and dad his adopted mom and dad <clears throat> He was able to overcome all of those obstacles that would have took him away from being able to have the life he deserves. So I, I'm going to stress this point again and again and again until you guys get it. But make sure you guys have the right friends that are going to lift you up, not tear you down. 
Um, but that's all for this video. I'm going to try to make a video later on today. I have something to do. I gotta go somewhere. Um, actually very soon in about 15 minutes. But without further ado, I'll send you guys on your way. Make sure to like, comment, um, comment down below what you want to see next. If you want to see a reaction re reaction review, Players People 2, or I'm going to try to get an interview with a couple of my friends or teammates soon, but it just hasn't worked out to where we can get together. Um, but yeah, without further ado, you guys stay safe. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.